Well, Australia is uh, uh, one of our important trading partners. Number-wise, it's not uh, as big as the United States of Ch or China, but Australia uh, have a very important uh, parts of, of uh, export and import. Indonesia is having a stable, uh, or, uh, until about two years ago, a stable supply of beef coming from Australia. And Indonesia had signed um, Australia-Indonesia Comprehensive Economic Partnership Agreement uh, a year ago, and it's uh, uh, mandated and is already in the, into law. And we are expecting a, a growth uh, of Australian export uh, very well for years to come. One of the few examples for Indonesian uh, probable goods to, uh, to be sent to Australia is automobiles. Uh, we would, uh, be, because of this is one of the futures of the uh, partnerships, uh, we would like to see this uh, industrial goods going to Australia uh, going well as well. So we are expecting uh, right now to start our export for automobile probably sometimes by the end of this year, uh, first things done next year. And this is, will be probably one of the pillars of Indonesian export to Australia as well. Sure, sir. Uh, but given that China is your top trading partner and also I think your second best investment partner, uh, you know, we've been reading reports about how as you get closer to, try, uh, to China in terms of building your trading relationship, uh, give us your own assessment of could it get difficult to balance the equation given the friction that China and Australia are having between themselves? Well, um, Indonesia is um, uh, uh, doing well with both countries. With Australia, we're doing uh, very well trade-wise, political-wise, and the security of the regions, as well as China, the good engagement. Uh, Indonesia had a very good story with China uh, for investment. Uh, we are committed to downstreaming our uh, mines uh, uh, commodity. And uh, last year, we cut uh, half of our deficit with Chinese from about $15, $16 billion into 2019. And we cut that half to about $7.8 billion last year with one product, that is stainless steel. Stainless steel uh, is a Chinese investor in Sulawesi coming with Chinese technology, state-of-the-art technology, very good factory. And we are sending, selling back this commodity back to China, the production of stainless steel. And we are doing very well. The growth is about 60% this quarter of 2021. And this is also a good story of investment and a, a creating a very good uh, a goods to be exported back to China as well. So uh, China is very important. We have uh, still have a, uh, a deficit, but our deficit January to May around 2.84 uh, billion US dollars, the lowest ever probably since 2005. So uh, this is a good story between Indonesia and China, and we're hoping that we're doing uh, uh, even better as investment from China coming very strong. Minister, it does seem as though G7 leaders and Australia's Prime Minister was among them at the recent meeting that are becoming more concerned about the importance of China across Asia and Southeast Asia here as well. And one of the proposals they put forward to try and counter China's influence is to come up with their own sort of belt and road initiative that has more of an emphasis on green projects. Is this an initiative you look forward to participating in? Of course we are. Um, you know, we are uh, for the presidency of G20 uh, in 2023. One of our initiatives is a green investment. And this is also uh, for our sustainability for the future as well. Um, so this is a... Uh, 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 Indonesia is a country in a run, basically. You know, we are uh, we are getting into upper middle class by 2018 with GDP per, per capita around $4,000. Uh, within 18 years, we have to triple that GDP in order to get out from or to get out from the middle income trap. To get out from the middle income trap, Indonesia has to do two things investment in infrastructure, and also transfer of technology. So Chinese, China right now is a good partner for Indonesia in order to skip from the middle income trap. But we are also expecting that, you know, as Indonesia gather a momentum in, in evolving uh, from uh, raw materials into industrial goods, we are also uh, expecting the same relationship with countries surrounding us, including uh, with Australia, with the United States, with uh, India, uh, as a trading partners, as an investment partners, as part of Indonesian development as well.